Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Fatihah binti Harun and my matric number is DE200047 and I will present to you about the introduction part. Now, let's take a look at the project background of this project which is a perfect electrical plan installation is based on the type of building, surrounding physical parameter and floor plan based because different building has various design. The construction of an electrical system for a building normally requires few months to develop depending to the floor plan of the building and it is one of the most difficult task to complete. The task required more patience and time as well as a perfect software to design an electrical system for a building such as AutoCAD which is really helpful and it is support international standard and provide comprehensive library for manufacturer content and symbol. It is, uh, it is easier for user to design industry friendly standard. UAM Sunrise Berhad developing different high quality and successful property development project has been planning to develop a new housing development and has request TNTNS Berhad to join their initiative. The main initiative to, is to design and develop an energy efficient building has highlighted in 11 nation plan. Now let's take a look at the company background. The name of the company is TNTNS Berhad and the motto of the company is Third Energy Saving. The vision and mission of the company is to work efficiently for client desire and happiness, to make sure that public funds are spent wisely and efficiently in the, in the delivery of service as well as in the fair and equitable disruption of housing assistance. Next, to provide a healthy and safe working environment to client, to provide for professional and first-class quality service to client, and lastly, to provide future chance for, of learning and experience in the field of electrical. The next part is the scope of this project, which is in this project, TNT and S Berhad are only at as a consultation company that will give them proposed idea, innovation, and design for the new housing in the cooperation with UEM Sunrise Berhad. The design given are supported by relevant justification to meet the 11 Malaysia Berhad plan. The innovation is limited to current scope, which is the building is a single-story house with three rooms. Solar energy will be used as the sustainable energy in the proposed innovation. The basis is the simulation software used in simul to simulate the, power, the solar power that can be harvested. The innovation is to reduce the cost of electricity consumption of the building. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurul Azura Binti Abdul Hadi. My metric number is DE 2058 and I'll be explaining for methodology, application of soil and floor plan review. Uh, okay, so for methodology, the first one, we will, we will start with the company establishment where we create our own company name, the NTNS Berhad. After that, we will do the floor plan review where we review our floor plan on how many rooms will be, uh, which uh, the kitchen will be located and we will add the uh, number of fluorescent lamp, number of fan, aircon and uh, SSO. The third up step is we analyze the floor plan. Uh, the analysis of floor plan will be carried out where maximum demand, total current load and the illumination of the building is calculated. And the next one is uh, we will propose a suitable innovation on our house floor plan where a suitable innovation is being proposed to improve the energy saving solutions on electrical system design and the sustainable power approaches in the building. After that, we will analyze the result of our proposed innovation to know if it is suitable or not for our floor plan. Otherwise, it will continue to the justification part where detailed explanation is summarized to show the improvement of the electrical system from the proposed innovation. The location of our site is in Taman Sri Indah, Penang, which this house is a single-story house containing three rooms and two bathrooms. Uh, we choose this site because it is suitable for PV model installation because it reaches with sunlight resources. Uh, this house also has empty rooftop and no high building or tree to interrupt the sunlight to the top of the building. For the basic floor plan review, our floor plan contains three bedrooms and two uh, bathroom which uh, the master bedroom connected to one of the bathroom we have one living room one balcony one store and one kitchen the electrical appliances that is contained in this floor plan is uh, there is 16 fluorescent lamp one chandelier four ceiling fans 21 13 ampere sso and one 15 ampere sso with one air conditioning Hello, good day everyone. My name is Timo Garavi and today I'm going to present about the result and discussion part for our project. So first of all, uh, we need to find the maximum demand before the innovation, means the original design. We find the maximum demand from the original design. So altogether we have uh, six electric components starting from fluorescent lamp, chandelier, ceiling fans, 30 ampere socket, uh, 50 ampere socket, and then also we've got uh, air conditioner. So we find the maximum demand for each electrical components 
with the help of uh, estimated power, the given estimated power and quantity. So after that, we need to find the total maximum demand. We add up all the maximum demand for each material components and we get like 3974 watt. And then the coincident factor is uh, 0 0.9 because this is the what you call resident, resident type of building. So for maximum demand, we need to uh, times total maximum demand with the coincident factor. So we will get like a 3576.6 watt. And then after that, we need to find the monthly consumption. So the monthly cons uh, consumption before the innovation, the origin design is uh, like a, we have a quantity, power, maximum appliance used in certain times, average daily use and also daily energy. So maximum appliances used in certain time means how, uh, how, how much we use the components, all these components uh, in the building. So the average is uh, depend on the maximum, this one, appliances used in certain times. So we have a total daily energy. So we add up all the daily energy for all these components and we get the like uh, 29,940 watt per hour. And then the monthly average energy is like uh, 898.2 kilowatt per hour. And then with that, we need to find the build calculation before innovation also. So we use the tariff for the first 200 kilowatt per hour for the next 100, 300 and uh, the next 300 kilowatt per hour. So the rate charge is depend on the tariff. So for the first 200 kilowatt per hour, we have a 43.60 ringgit, a 43 ringgit and 60 cents, and then for the next 100 is a 33 ringgit 40 cents, and then uh, along with 300 kilowatt per hour, we got 9, uh, 154 point, uh, 154 ringgit 80 cents, and then the rest we get 162 ringgit 82 cents, and all together total charge is 394 ringgit 62 cents, and then move on with uh, the light illumination. We need to find the light illumination with the following. Uh, given what you call given uh, infos like a depreciation factor 1.2 utilizes factor 0 0.9 illuminance 50 lux fluorescent light lux 2600 uh, and then we have a fluorescent light wattage which is 40 watt so this is the light illumination calculation before the innovation so we have uh, we need to find the light illumination in all area of the building starting from room 1 until the dining area so we got an area in meter per square lumens needed cross lumens output number of light needed and also number of light in floor plan so we need to find the what you call light illumination so the lumens needed means uh the what you call the how much is the distance the light can reach in this particular area so we have the values here and then the number of light needed the number of light in floor plan this is the number of light in the floor plan according to the design and this is the the light needed according to the calculation that we did so that's it from me thank you now i'm going to present about the innovation that our group proposed toward the floor plan so first one we will propose to replace the electrical appliance in the building so for lighting we will change the 40 watt fluorescent lamp to 18 watt led lamp and for air conditioner, we will use air conditioner with inverter technology because this type of air conditioner will have less power loss and can save in energy because of the temperature is adjusted by changing motor speed without turning the motor on and off. So by changing the electrical appliance, we will reduce the maximum demand as we can see in these two tables. The first one is the before innovation and the maximum demand is equal to 3576 and after the innovation, we apply LED lamp in the building. The maximum demand of the building is equal to 3491. So for monthly consumption, before innovation, the building record a monthly average energy of 898 kilowatt per hour and the bill cost almost 394 ringgit and after innovation, we use LED lamp, the monthly average energy is only equal to 834 kilowatt per hour and the bill is reduced to 359 ringgit. So the next propose is to propose the grid connected PV system. So the concept of this PV system is we will use electricity from PV module during daytime and on the night time, we will use electricity from PMB grid. So this is the proposed of PV system and this is the requirement of the PV system. So the area of rooftop that we need is equal to 18 meters square. The type of PV module we use is 300 watt peak, 27 volt. And inverter is 3 kilowatt AC, 50 hertz inverter. And the effective energy generated per month is almost 400 kilowatt per hour. So as we can see here, this is the simulation result. And we can see in the third last column, the effective energy at the output of the array for each month is almost 400 kilowatt per hour every month. So this is the monthly consumption after the innovation. The monthly average energy we record is 834 kilowatt per hour. This value is
So next, this is the monthly consumption of the innovation, we will use LED lamp, and the monthly average energy is almost equal to 834 kilowatt per hour. This is we. So this is the monthly consumption after the innovation where we use LED light. The monthly average energy is equal to 834 kilowatt per hour. After we connect it with the PV system, this monthly consumption and monthly average energy will be able to reduce almost 400 kilowatt every month. So of course the bill will cost less than this value. And the third one is about the room illumination. Before the innovation, and we calculate the light illumination of each room in this building and we observe that the number of light in floor plan and the number of light needed in the building is not equal. As you can see here, in kitchen, the number of light needed is equal to 2. But in the floor plan, the installed light is only 1. So we propose an innovation and we recalculate the illumination of the room. And as you can see here, the number of light needed increase. And this is the comparison between the floor plan. The left one is the before and the right one is the after. So as you can see, in kitchen, living room and room 1, we can see that the number of light is increased. So after this, I will show you how to use PVC software to do the simulation for our PV system. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use PVC to do the simulation for our PV system. So in this software, we'll choose either the free connected PV system or standalone PV system. So in this project, we'll choose free connected. So the first thing we need to do is to choose the location of our site. So as mine, we will choose by the past. And after that, we will set the main parameter of the view system. As we can see here, this is the orientation of the view module. So we can set the degree of the thinness of the view module and the azimuth of the view module. So the proposed we change the plane tilt and the azimuth of the view module is to obtain a maximum sunlight exposure during daytime. So after we change all the setting, and we will go to the system parameter. And in here, we will choose the PV module, the type of inverter, and the design of the array. So as mine, I will choose a 300 volt, watt peak 27 volt PV module, and this is the type of the inverter. And for the design of the array, we can change the number of series and number of string, and it will auto come up with a value, which is the area of the rooftop we need when we install the PV module. So after we change all the setting, we can save it and run the simulation. So after we run the simulation, it will generate a document, which is the report of the PV system. So in this report, as we can see, the location of site is by Yang Lepas. And in the first page, we will have the project summary, system summary, and the result summary. This is the summary of the PV system that we want to install. So if we go to the third page, as you can see, we have a table here. And this table, on the third last column, we will have the info about the effective energy at the output of the array. As you can see here, by month, it is almost 400 kilowatt hour every month. So this is the value of the effective energy that we can harvest from the PV module. There are also other information about the losses diagram and the graph for system output power and the daily input or output diagram. So we will use this info in our report and that's all for the PV system software simulation presentation. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Suleiman Muhammad Kamaluddin. My math number is in 19 I'm here to present our Project conclusion. In conclusion, the innovation bring out by TM, TNS Berhad towards this the building can be summarized as electrical appliance replacement, redesigning of the electrical floor plan, and applied sustainable energy as electricity supply. Those innovations are supported by strong justification and meet the objectives of the project, which is to barbos an electrical system design that implemented the energy efficiency, such as cost effective and applied sustainable energy. Besides, sustainable energy such as solar and wind energy should be along with the TMB grid to get electricity supply. This is because sustainable energy is green energy. It will bring less harm to the earth during the generation of electricity process. Lastly, the celestial building is supposed to be a place that gives warmth for everyone and to have feeling in home. Thank you. <laughs>